फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार जोहार वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर कॉमन कार फॉर ब्रीडिंग इफ यू हैव कॉमन कार फिश इन योर पॉन्ड प्लान फॉर ब्रीडिंग देम नाउ इन नॉर्दर्न इंडिया नियर बाय कंट्रीज द ब्रीडिंग टेक्स प्लेस एट द एंड ऑफ फेब्रवरी मंथ और इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ मार्च मंथ सो इवन इफ द साइज ऑफ द फिशेस आर स्मॉल नाव यू नीड नॉट वरी and just follow the feeding method which i had followed around 31 years back at chapra which was the place of my first posting as district fisheries officer since the condition of the departmental nursery ponds was not very good i took two small ponds on rent in a nearby village and stocked them with some fishes brought from a pond around 40 kilometers away the fishes were small around 300 to 400 grams After stocking I started feeding them with crushed germinated wheat for that what we did that we kept wheat grains in water for uh, one night and next day uh, we we kept them in a wet cloth for 2 3 days and they germinated so we crushed them and mixed them with mustard oil cake and rice bran and met in the form of balls these balls were fed at the rate of 3 to 4% of the body weight of the fishes it was done regularly every day morning evening next month the dose was increased as the fishes had grown bigger you will be surprised to know that by the end of february the fishes gained a weight of more than 1.5 kg then they were bred naturally using water hyacinth plants kept in all the corners of the pond after breeding large number of eggs were found attached with the roots of the water hyacinth The eggs were kept in harpa with the plant for hatching. Within four days, all the eggs hatched, and the hatchlings or the spawn were transferred to nursery ponds, which was already prepared, and they were grown to fingerling size. Friends, if you don't have common cow fish in your pond, don't worry and try to find them where from you can get them. Bring them from those ponds, even if they are small. most of the people don't know about breeding but it's such a nice thing that if you understand if you learn the breeding process of fish you can earn a huge amount of money so if you for that you have to keep feeding them regularly they will grow very nicely as you know common carp is a omnivorous fish so they respond very well to feeding and grow really big seed of common carp is in great demand in rural areas so if they will be available nearby the farmers will readily purchase so i think uh, it's quite clear that for breeding common carp in the month of february you have to start preparing for that right now if you have any query regarding breeding of common carp kindly write in the comment i'll try to clear your doubts thanks for watching this video if you are watching my video for the first time kindly subscribe my channel and press the bell button and please like this video and share with your friends thanks for watching again namaskar johar